Hi, everyone. It's Andrew with The Market Mindsets. Uh, today, we're fortunate to have uh, Patrick Elliott, the President, CEO, and Director of Forte Minerals, in the studio here with us. Uh, it's great to be able to have in-person conversations, and it's uh, very special today because of such a great news release. And we want to get right to that. Uh, and if you remember, uh, this is a company focused on copper and gold in Peru. And uh, they've got about 215 years of management experience and specific experience in Peru, which is key, having the geological expertise for that region, but also some of the political pull. Uh, so let's jump in and speak with Patrick. Uh, so as we we're saying, with uh, downturn markets and whatnot, that often has uh, time to get a hold of pretty interesting projects. And as we have in the news release today, this is quite a news release and quite a property. Tell us about how you got this and, and, what, and, and what the numbers are and what, what it's like. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a big part of our uh, acquisition strategy as well, is spending lots of time um, working, uh, trying to acquire and, um, you know, looking for the right opportunities in, in the market to, to, to make a deal and, and to, uh, to do this. So Alta Ruri, this press release we've come out with, um, it's a it's a phenomenal high sulfidation gold system that was discovered back in the late '90s. Um, it's uh, the first drill hole into it drilled 131 meters of 2.55 uh, grams gold. Um, within that 131 meters, the uh, top 55 meters from surface had six grams gold. So, an incredible incredible hole, an incredible st start. There was a few other exploratory ho holes done uh, within that alteration zone and uh, lots of work to be done to, to advance that. But we're really excited to, to acquire this. Um, Hothschilds will, will retain a 1% NSR on it, royalty, um, as they previously were in partnership with, with our uh, project generator, Globetrotters, on it. And uh, this, you know, this was about a 10-year effort uh, from our project generator working with tech and then with Hotchilds um, in order to, to gain control 100% of, of this project. So now it's um, in, in Forte. And um, within this, this whole zone, there's also a porphyry uh, alteration zone. So uh, 4,700 hectares. There's also a Cerro Kio. It's another porphyry that was drilled by... Uh, a few holes by Anglo, and they they had some joy and some some uh, some decent intercepts of, of gold in um, 300 meters of uh, about a half gram gold and, and some some copper and molly credits there too. So lots of work but done to uh, you know advance the porphyry, but but the the main focus is this ultra rare high sulfidation. It's uh, 15 kilometers due south of Piarina, which is. Uh, a Barrick Gold's um, high sulfidation deposit that they've been mining uh, for about 20 years. Uh, they mined over 8 million ounces of gold from there. And, and, and this is, uh, you know, a, a mid to late discovery from Air Keeper Resources. Uh, Catherine McLeod Seltzer and David Lowell discovered this, uh, um, I believe, in a helicopter initially is how they saw the, the color anomaly uh, and uh, decided to land and take some samples, but that, that's what they were looking for. They're they were exploring and and, and looking for uh, alteration, um, and uh, it, it turned into to a you know a phenomenal uh, deposit that's uh, you know kind of coming to the end of its usual mine life. But uh, yeah, it's within the the same belt and same host rocks of, of Piarina, and uh, we're excited to to advance this. Like we we can build a lot of value from where it's at and, uh, and and build build resources. And that's what's cool about whatever you've got a mine next door where you can see uh, what the geology looks like, what's coming out of the ground, how does it flow, how is it, how is it working? So that you have something to compare against when you're, you're, you're picking targets and you're expanding on that. How much work are you putting into this property this year? What, what are you guys thinking of doing? So um, now that we have the two drill permits for our, our other uh, gold and our, and our porphyry copper project, we will focus on the permitting, social engagement uh, um, with uh, this project, with Alterari, and, and our Don Gregorio uh, porphyry up in northern Peru. That's um, you know has some challenges in that area. It's it's not impossible. There's lots of uh, mines that uh, that are, have been put into production, but um, 
it takes a special uh, strategic approach to to work with the people and and uh, and support them and engage on on your activities and and whatnot. So we're working to uh, to move those two projects along now. That that you know our our in house social team permitting team will will uh, move from um, Pucarini and Esperanza now towards Alterary and uh, Don Gregor. And, and that's why it's so important when there's this ESG report coming up because uh, people don't realize that can also be a catalyst for large funds. Because I've always been wondering why, like when are, like Goldman Sachs talks about copper being like the new oil. So it's like, you know, I'm thinking, well, when are they going to come to the party? Like when are the big funds going to come? And often what I hear from hearsay and whatnot is uh, until we can, we can't because there has to be a, a strong ESG. There has to be a, a model that we can work with. And this seems like uh, m- like mining has a chance right now to really like you know get a spotlight on it in a good way um, and pull in some of that big money that I think wants to come to the market as well. And having that strong ESG plan where you're working with all the stakeholders, we've got an in- environmental uh, plan in place. All these things uh, not only does it make the people in the country feel like they're included and at ease, certainly institutional investors that need you know bid cars and Tesla and everything else, like all those kind of things to work. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the ESG component is, is, is critical. It's not mandatory by any means for, for a junior exploration company. But uh, when we looked at our operations and our principles and our, and our policies, um, we felt like we were already well on the way. And so why not uh, put the extra effort into delineating all that, organizing the data, and and um, what it's done is it's helped identify areas for improvement and, and areas that 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 um, you know we could focus on. But it's also highlighted and showcased you know the work that we do and 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 the kind of the uh, principles that we follow and 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 the the approaches that that we make in our efforts. And so. Um, it's a very complex uh, report, but now when you have an organized report, uh, we've just uh, <clears throat> just a couple of weeks ago uh, released that now. So it's it's on the website. You can uh, easily uh, navigate through that to see um, you know the twenty one step criteria on on uh, everything that's included there. I think it's also interesting from my perspective when I'm I'm kind of analyzing and looking at, at stocks is that when a company is already looking at the ESG aspect, it's kind of like they're, they're anticipating, we like what we've got, we're already thinking down the road that we, we need this to work. Uh, instead of, well, we'll worry about the ESG if we find something. <laughs> uh, this is, you know, this is, you know, we, you've been working on this for a long time. Uh, so let's, let's work on this big factor, this big chunk of, of what can be a problem, but it can also be a big benefit as we're moving along. So, if, and that I think is a good signal to people who are looking at, uh, especially a junior, uh, because like you said, it's it's management, it's the project, and it's the money behind it. And when you see that the management's already very concerned about that aspect, uh, that's probably a pretty good sign for, for them to, to pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. 20, 20 years ago when we were exploring, we certainly didn't have uh, all these measures in place, uh, albeit there, there was parts uh, uh, that were um, you know applied to different programs, but now it's it's more uh, complex and and uh, organized and uh, very uh, uh, transparent. So we got PDAC coming up. That's going to be a big show here in Toronto. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have a busy time there. What after PDAC uh, should people be looking for? Because we always look for different milestones. So, and once again, we're in a challenging market, and maybe it's not reflected in the stock. Maybe it is. Is we like to have like kind of checklists as to what people should kind of hold you account of, accountable for on and management. What are some of the news that they should be paying attention to in the next short term, mid term? Yeah, it's, it kind of goes back to these permits that we received uh, mid to late uh, 2023. Uh, those projects are ready to to uh, you know get a drill program going. Uh, hopefully, sometime uh, mid 2024 will be. Uh, there's a, a few things that you need to to add on to the environmental impact uh, statement. Um, uh, the water agreement and uh, the uh, previous com- consultation with with the um, the communities and and those are you know uh, 
been progressing. And, and uh, so when, when they come through and, and the funding come, comes in, then we expect to, to drill you know, one or both of those projects. So one's a porphyry copper, Molly in the Paleocene belt. It's, uh, it's in elephant country. It's got huge alteration zone, you know, indicative of what you'd see in, in some of these other major porphyry systems in, in southern Peru. And uh, the other one's a, a high sulfidation gold that's uh, never been drilled and got phenomenal gold grades on surface. So they both need to be drilled. It'd be very exciting. And, and likewise, moving those other two projects through the, the social engagement, the, the permitting and getting the environmental studies going at, at uh uh, our new project, Alteruri, and uh, Don Gregorio. And we did talk too much about gold, but it goes without saying. I mean, gold is, is critical. Uh, we're seeing, I mean, central banks buying gold at, at rapid rates. The gold price is doing well. I think people are pretty bullish on gold in general. So I kind of take it for granted that, you know, gold is gold. It's great. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's wonderful to have this new project with that kind of at-surface uh, gold. I mean, that's a very rare uh, you know, situation to be having. That'll be a lot of fun to poke some holes in to see how that develops. And of course, this, this copper, uh, it's, it's two different things that we like for the same reasons, uh, in a very mineral rich area. And we're really excited to follow the story and see what comes down the road. But there aren't too many companies out there that have two big projects like this that, uh, should be garnering a lot of attention. No, absolutely. And uh, we, we planned and initiated it to be a copper company, right? It was a copper company. And, and as you know, some copper porphyries come with a, a gold byproduct. But the high sulfidation systems that came along, it, they were just too good not to acquire. Yeah. And so that's why the, these, these two gold projects became part of the, the portfolio. They helped balance them. But then, you know, we have early stage and ones that have historically been drilled. And so we try and balance them that way, but, you know, elemental wise as well. Um, but yeah, we're very bullish copper and, and we love gold too. So it's, um, it's a good place to be. Excellent. Well, it's going to be quite a year. We look forward to hearing more about what's happening down there. But congratulations so far. Once again, this is new, you know, for me and for a lot of you, but it's 10, 15 years in the making for you. A lot of work to get here. But you could get involved and have that, you know, 10 to 15 years of work at a, at a bargain right now. If you're interested, do your own due diligence. Take a look at Forte Minerals. And uh, we're looking forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks so much. Yeah, there's a tremendous amount of value to be uncovered. And, you know, it's a $5 million market cap story. So it's, we're really just getting going. Perfect. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. 